Hey guys, it's your girl back with another video. So I kind of wanted to hop on here and do a quick video on and show you guys how I get curls with a straightening iron. So if you're interested in the way I got my hair, please keep on watching. Be sure to comment below, like, and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that way you can get, you guys can get notifications every time I upload. But yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Oh, what's going on here? I need some volume, I need some curls, I need some definition, I need it, I need it all. So I washed my hair this morning and I didn't really do anything with it. I kind of just kind of went to work and let it dry on its own, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, so I decided I would do this uh, video to kind of show you how I get my curls. And usually my curls last for like three or four days. So all I do is just spray some like dry shampoo and everything in there. And then my curls kind of last for a few days. So now my hair is a little bit um, on the greasy side mainly because I've been touching it all day long. Um, Cause it's kind of just been all over the place. So what I use, um, I love the Dove line. This is the Dove dry shampoo, and I really, really like this one. Um, I've tried a lot of dry shampoos, and I know a lot of people don't like the residue, but I prefer the residue, like the powdery residue that it leaves afterwards. Like I actually prefer, sometimes I, um, I've actually bought like the dry shampoo powders that you put in your hair, and I actually kind of prefer that over a spray. But um, this is one that I actually like. It doesn't give you that chalky look, but it kind of like, I don't know how to really explain it. It kind of like lightens it up a little bit on your, if you've got like dirty roots like I do and your hair's blonde. Good lord, I'm shitting everywhere. Um, and what's also great about this is it's pretty, it's pretty cheap, so. So all I do is I spray it. I just freak the cat out. use dry shampoo kind of in the front area and like underneath okay. so the curls that I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be doing with my um, straightener, and this is the one from Lange. Um, I'm, I'm like in love with this straightener. So it's got like these, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's got the infrared lights on the inside here. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I really like this straightener. It's got like the touch tectonic plates, is, I think is how you say it. I think it can go all the way up to 450, which is what I'm gonna have it on today. Yes. And also what's cool about these is um, when you plug it in, especially with a curling iron, um, specifically the wand curling irons, if you plug them in, it lets you know that they're still plugged in, but they're not on. So it, it'll like light up blue like this if it's plugged in. And so if you forgot to like unplug it, you will see that light on. So you're like, oh, okay, it's, I need to unplug it. Which is like a safety hazard or whatever. But yeah, so anyway. So now I'm gonna section my hair off and I'm gonna use my little clips. I usually section my hair off. I divide it into two sections, the top section, the middle section, and then the bottom section, or three sections, but two are actually going up. So anyway, I kind of go by the line of my eyebrows. Shoot, I didn't even start. Hang on. We're going back up. Because I'm going to put a little texture in my hair. Which I'm going to use the detox. This is a dry shampoo, but I don't find it works really great as a dry shampoo and it was on the more expensive side so I don't really want to lace it so I do use it as 
um, like a texture and I just use a little bit because that's one thing that this is great it gives you a lot of texture and you want texture if you're especially if you're doing like curls you don't really want a lot of texture if you're like straightening your hair or anything like that but if you're like doing updos or you know messy bun check out my messy bun video and um, but if you're like curling your hair or whatever you want texture in your in your hair so that way the curls kind of stick and stay and last a little bit longer Now I'm gonna section my hair off. And like I said, I like to section. I use my eyebrows as a guidance for the V top piece here. And then I use like my ears, like if I was going to put my hair behind my ears, that's kind of how I section out the middle piece. And then I just split it in half. And then the next thing I'm going to use is my heat protected spray. And this is the Rival Heat Shield by Monge. And this stuff is really great too. It's very lightweight. And it dries fast, which is nice. Because that's the one thing I've always had an issue with with um, heat protectant sprays, is you spray them on your spray them on your hair and then your hair is like soaking wet, or I shouldn't say soaking wet, but it's wet. And it, it makes it hard to like straighten or do whatever you want to do to it. Now my um, straightener is, has heated up. So now I'm just going to, let me lift up here a little bit so you can see me. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a small section here. Just about that big. And then I'm going to take my straightener and I'm going to clamp down like normal and then twist my wrist. And then I'm just going to drag it down quickly. And then you can see that that's the curl that it gives me. Okay, I'm going to do that again. feel really weird because I'm doing this at night <laughs> right before I go to bed so <laughs> it's really weird but you know whatever cool Sometimes if you like accidentally curl too too hard or too much, I'll just pull it straight and then let it go and then it kind of gives you that effortless wave. And then I'm just going to take my Lange um, hairspray and I'm going to put it on light hold. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the light hold at the top here. I want them to be loose and you want them to kind of cool down before you start like tossing them around which I have a problem with the blading I'm doing you know <laughs> so now this side I always have very challenged on this side I have a really hard time when I curl my hair or do anything with a straightener on this side because it's like I don't know how to like twist you know so I kind of found a trick that works for me is I kind of twist my wrist around this way so that way I can twist it. And I'll kind of show you. So I'll twist around like this so my wrist is completely twisted around. I will put my 
straightener here and then twist my wrist back out straight. And then it'll help curl that, that end. And then that's the curl you can get. Again, I'll show you that it's twisting of the wrist. And this is the only way I've found that works for me. I know there are other people out there that kind of like go above the head and twist it down and everything. I just can't get my arms to function. I don't know if I'm the only person that has that issue, but I just need. I have noodle arms and they don't want to function. And I'm not risking dropping my straightener on my feet. No feet. So now I'm just doing the middle section real quick. And I'll kind of fast forward through some of this. You don't have to like be bored to death watching me do my hair that I'm going to sleep on here in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And so, Now that I've um, finished curling all of the, the sections here, I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before I kind of fluff it out. This side's pretty cool on this side, so I'll kind of just work around, work around over here. Usually I've been like really loving this look, like putting my hair behind my ear and then kind of just going out like this. You know? You know? So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll kind of like tussle it around a little bit. And then um, usually a second day here. This makes a great second day hair because your hair has got that like very loose texture. I kind of prefer um, my day, my day. I kind of prefer my hair on the second day once I do these curls because it's kind of like flattened down a little bit and they're kind of a little bit more like effortless. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much the look. So I'll kind of turn around so you can see the back. Hopefully it ain't too jacked up, you know. Yes, I don't want to know. You gotta be in the middle of everything. She wants to. Oh God. She wants to say hello. She's gonna hug me. Every video I do, she's got to be in the middle of it. Oh. Alright, but yeah, that's that's the hair look. I hope you guys learned something from it. Also, one question I do get a lot um, from some girls that I work with is sometimes when you straighten your hair, you get that like straighten, straightener like smell, you know? And sometimes you can take like an oil and kind of run through your hair to kind of get that smell or you can go back in with your heat protectant spray and kind of spray it. Like what I'll do is kind of spray a little bit. That is funny freaking out. And I'll just kind of, 
like fluff up my hair a little bit. And then once it kind of dries, it kind of gives that like sleek look too. But it helps with that um, like the smell you get when you, you know, when you straighten your hair. But yeah, that's it. That's the total look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Leave a comment down below. Um, what's your favorite product that I used? Um, what product, if you're interested in any products, I'll have them listed in the description, of course. Um, but yeah, ask, you know, like definitely let me know what your favorite product was. Um, but yeah, that's it. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video.